What's up, people? I just want to talk about read placement just a little bit. Um, you know, I was playing around on my horn today, and um, I thought about, you know what, let me turn this fan off. I thought about, um, I was playing, and my read sounded a little bit stuffy. You know, it sounded a little bit stuffy. It sounded a little bit um, soft. And I thought about it. I was like, you know what, read placement. I need to say something about that. So, when you're looking at your mouthpiece, there's a couple of different things you can do read wise to get more response. First, let me play a few notes to, so you can hear what it sounds like at what I think is the perfect position for this read. <laughs> just play too much but now this is where the read is right now i don't know if you can see that if if the camera is going to change it at all you know if it's focusing i need a better camera but that's the that's where it is right now so i'm going to just slightly slightly move it down just a little bit and it's going to change okay now i'm going to put it right back where it was see it's, it's different it's it's like it's bigger now just just moving it just a little bit. Now, I'm going to move it up even further. It's going to get darker. See, it gets a little darker right there. So depending on how hard the reed is, you know, some reeds blow bright, some reeds blow stuffy. Now with stuffy reeds, sometimes you got to bring out a reed knife or you may want to apply some pressure on a flat surface. But then there's some reeds that are hard. You know, if you move them down a little bit, they'll play a little bit softer. You move them up, they're going to play even harder. Now there's also, if you move it to the left or to the right, that also changes things. Now, I can't put into word what changes they really make, but I can say that they do make changes, tilting it slightly to the left or to the right. So this is just a quick video. I know it's, it's not that uh, detailed, but it was something that I wanted to put up real quick. So if you're playing, if you're practicing, and you notice your sound is somewhat stuffy sound try moving the reed just a little bit if it plays hard try moving it down just a little bit we're only talking about a very small amount here we're not talking about a huge amount just a little bit every little amount counts if it plays too hard move it down a little bit if it plays too soft move it up a little bit and also uh experiment with tilting it just a little bit to the left and to the right anyway i hope this allows you guys to try some things and if you're in the northeast right now you got time because you're stuck in the snow. <laughs> but anyway, have a good one, guys. Take care. Peace.